Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I also have a Virgo and Leo only channel. They are all in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page um what else do i want to tell you readings can be vice versa so flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation um if it doesn't resonate that's okay it's just not your story if um I, oh another thing to keep in mind readings can be future predictive if it doesn't resonate please when leaving comments um, please be sympathetic to the fact that it may resonate with someone else. So try to, you know, have some sympathy and empathy for other people. Um, I do not take personal readings, any phone numbers that you see below, or if anyone should reach out, it's not me. I rec I could recommend Barbara from Course Rose Tarot. The link to book with her is below. Um, so guys, yesterday I ended up in urgent care. I had to go see an ENT. I've got like a really severe sinus situation happening. I'm on like um, antibiotics for three weeks. I have to go for a CAT scan and everything. It's just like crazy. So I'm not going to be posting as much this week. I'm going to try to take a little bit of time to heal. Okay. Um, so if you don't see me posting a lot everything's okay hopefully by the beginning of next week everything should be back on track okay all right guys um let's get popping here spirit tell me about cancer please sun moon rising and venus tell me oh and i have decided i think i for those of you who caught the live yesterday i think i am going to change the setup i'm thinking of doing it by february 1st i'll do a little shopping and figure out how i'm going to switch everything okay all right so let's see here spirit tell me about cancer please Ooh. I'm falling. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, we've got the Hierophant and the Page of Swords. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and we've got the Emperor. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Two of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card. We've got the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. <laughs> the Empress and the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, Cancer, here is what's happening. Cancer, I feel like we're dealing with somebody here that blocked you left you ghosted you okay this is somebody that chose another person over you okay here's the kicker they are about to find out that this person is married or in a higher level commitment okay your person went to go offer this third party a solid committed relationship okay i feel like this is somebody that thought it was going to be just sex this person that was married was seeing this connection as simply sexual okay it could be perhaps that this person was trying to make their partner jealous but at the same time, this person had no interest. This person could have children with this other person or they could be legally married, okay? Um, it could be that they had no interest in leaving their partner. Now, Cancer, I feel that you are in an energy of healing from this person, okay? We've got this, you know, you in an energy of with this Four of Swords healing from this Knight of Wands energy, this person that just kind of played you and took off. Um, 
and out of nowhere with that judgment card, I feel like Cancer, this person is coming back around to you because they're finding out that th that that you know this third party situation isn't what they thought that it was. Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Your person fell in love with somebody that was committed elsewhere. It was an illusion. They got rejected. They got rejected. Your person offered this person, a, uh, you know, let's be in a relationship. I'm in love with you. And they got rejected. Now, Cancer, place this as it resonates. This could be you. I don't know. You take it as it resonates, okay? Tell me about the Hierophant, please. We have the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Swords and the Judgment card and the devil cancer somebody here is relaying an honest message and saying listen i'm in a relationship um and you know that i'm gonna choose to stay in that relationship with that devil card this was supposed to just be sexual i'm sorry if you're you're becoming a little you know obsessed with me or whatever um See the death card and the ace of swords. Your person ended a situation with you thinking that they would start a life with this other person. And then a truth comes out. A truth comes out. And, and the truth is, is that this person is saying, listen, I'm in a relationship. I'm committed. This was just sexual for me. Tell me about this ace of swords and the four of swords. Your person is still healing. They're still healing from what happened here when they come back towards you. Two of swords. And the high priestess. Yeah, no, I, I'm not looking to date you. I'm not looking to date you. This is just supposed to be a secret. This is just supposed to be, you know, sexual. Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Your person is having a conversation with this third party saying, listen, you know, I want to be your emperor. Okay, because this person came in as Empress. I like, I, I want to be uh, your person. And, and they're being told no. They're being told no. And with that Eight of Cups energy, I feel like it's going to freak the third party out. And the third party is going to say, listen, I don't think we should do this anymore because you're becoming a little obsessive. Like you're becoming like you're, you're pushing me to go down a path I don't want to go down. This is just supposed to be sexual. Now, Cancer, for all I know, this could be your person that's with a third party. And you know what I'm saying? Um... The third party wants more from your person and your person is saying, no, this is just sex. I'm not leaving cancer, you know, so you place that it has how it resonates. Okay, tell me about cancer, please. In love, the eight of swords and the five of swords. Cancer, I feel like you're still in an energy here of being stuck on how this person walked away from you. Like, I feel like you can't believe how this person just left you behind. King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Two of Cups. You thought this person loved you. You thought there was a soul tie energy here. And it turns out that this person wasn't stable at all, that they were noncommittal, that they had no interest in, um, you know, committing to you and this situation. This person was quick to walk away from you. Six of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. You're in an energy of regretting ever loving this person, regretting ever trusting this person. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles here, I feel like this person ghosting you or leaving you behind was your biggest blessing. It was your biggest blessing because with the Sun card and the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Wands here, no matter how bad it hurt to see the truth, you did. You saw the truth of what you really mean to this person. And what you mean to this person, unfortunately, Cancer, is that you're easily disposable. You're easily, you know, expendable. Is that the word I'm looking for? Um, and I feel like you love this person deeply, Cancer. You loved them deeply. Okay, so you're in an energy where you're still, still trying to accept the truth of how this person walked away from you. Eight of, of swords here for Cancer. And the three of pentacles. Tell me about the five of swords and the tower. Like you kept trying to build something solid with this person. And they were so quick to just tear it all down. 
tell me about this king of pentacles in the reverse and the eight of pentacles you were putting in a tremendous amount of work into this connection and they were not seeing a future with you at all two of cups here and the six of swords and the nine of pentacles under the deck cancer here's what's really awesome though you know Sometimes when we're in denial about a situation, and I feel like you were, because when you're dealing with people like this, Cancer, um, the red flags are always there, you know, but when you love someone, the favorite thing that people love to do when they love somebody and they want somebody is play deaf, dumb, and blind, okay? That's, that's the number one favorite thing for anyone that's in love, okay? Deaf, dumb, and blind, right? So Cancer, here's the deal though. You're, you're being faced with the truth. You're being fit there. The truth is undeniable at this point on where this person's feelings, this person's feelings stand about you. Do you see what I'm saying? That they are quick to leave you behind for someone else. Now I feel cancer that, you know, this person goes off to this third party and they are learning their own lessons with that third party. Whoever your person has moved towards you, towards whoever your person has moved towards doesn't want them. They've moved towards somebody that's in a committed relationship that doesn't want, that, that only wants to use them as a toy. And that is a lesson that they're going through in their own little world, okay? But on your end, Cancer, this was your opportunity to see how they truly feel about you. And I feel like, you know, Cancer, like, uh, you know, when you go to Alcoholics Anonymous or when you have any type of addiction, step number one is admitting the problem. That's always step number one. If you're an alcoholic, hi, my name is, you know, John, I'm an alcoholic, okay? If I'm a drug addict, oh, I have a drug problem. I have a shopping addiction. I have this. The, the first step is admitting the problem. And here you are finally admitting I mean nothing to this person. That this is you saying, I truly mean nothing to this person. Now, here's what I love, Cancer. With that nine of pentacles energy, you handle it gracefully. You, you learn this lesson. You, you're ascending to empress level. And with that six of swords energy, you're moving away from this horrible place. With that two of cups, I feel like you may be moving into a beautiful soul tie connection. Tell me about that six of pentacles, please. And the justice card. Don't, don't regret giving to this person. Don't regret anything that you've done because you're going to receive... Nothing is ever lost, Cancer. If you do something bad, it won't be forgotten. And if you do something good, it won't be forgotten. I promise you, Cancer. Okay, so don't re don't have any regrets over what you've given. You may have be having regrets over I gave them so much of my love, my time, my heart, my money. Don't regret that cancer. You know, just turn around and say I gave it. I gave it with a loving heart. Whatever they chose to do with it is their business. Okay. You know, when you give someone $20, a homeless person in the street, you know, me, I give it the $20. I don't care if they're going to go buy alcohol or drugs or whatever. I don't care what they do with that $20 once I give it. All I know on my end is that I saw someone in need and I gave them that 20 bucks. And that's the way you got to look at it. You gave this person love, time, attention, energy, money, whatever the case may be. You gave it whatever they decided to do. If they decided to take that and throw it in the trash, let that be on them, okay? Because you have, there's karma coming to you and then there's karma that's coming to them. They are dealing with their own problems here because who, what they want does not want them. And Cancer, I feel like you're moving towards a two of cups here, which for those of you new to the tarot is a beautiful, loving, long-term soul tie connection. Um, so cancer, you know, with that six of pentacles, whatever you gave is going to come back to you. It may not be with this person, but it's going to come back to you with the five of cups and the full card, no matter how much you're hurting, mourning, grieving, uh, you know, grieving the loss of this person, grieving the loss of everything you gave to the connection, grieving the loss of the future that you had planned with this person. I do see you moving on. I do see you moving on, okay? So Cancer, we're gonna take this into the extended and here's what we're gonna look at. 
what is this person going to do? Are they going to come back around to you? What is happening in this person's life? You know, if, if the divine is bringing this up, it's for a reason. There's either something that you need to know for closure here, or this person may be coming back around. So let's see what we have going on with this person. And then I want to find out about this two of cups here, because I feel like you're moving towards something amazing here. Okay, um, so for those of you who are willing to reconcile with this past person, if they come back, what will that look like long term? You know, do they even love you type of situation? Uh, and for Cancer, I'm also going to do this Two of Cups because I feel like you're moving towards something new. Okay, all right, guys, I love you so very much. I will see you in the extended. The link is in the description box below and in the comment section below. Take care, my darlings.